Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to go over a couple features that are in the 0.10.11 release. So this is a publicly available release, not an insider release. And in this release here we have two features that I think are probably more prominent to talk about. And one of them is being able to see unsupported files in your vault and also make it easier for you to kind of link to them inside of the inside of the uh, note that you might create in obsidian and you can also open these into your from your default app uh, from within obsidian but before we get into the video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it it helps the channel out and it helps this content get out to other individuals just like yourself and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on to the video. Okay, so to enable this feature, if you have the, the 0.10.11 release already installed, just go into settings. We'll need to go into the files and links. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then you have this one setting in here that's set called detect all file extensions. Now this will show all of the file extensions that Obsidian can't really open natively within Obsidian, uh, but you can still see them in the File Explorer and the Quick Switcher, and also be able to open up the links in, in their default app. So we'll go ahead and turn this on right now. And let's go ahead and see, now we can see a DocX file and a PowerPoint file in this vault. And let's just go back in here if we did not, I, see it earlier if i go ahead and disable that those files disappear and let's go back and enable it and we'll be able to see those again so now these non-supported um, file types that are not supported to be opened directly into obsidian shows up in this list now from here i can easily just drag and drop those into a note if i'm typing out a note and if I want to open those, you can still go ahead and click on these links um, and it will open up in the default application. We'll go ahead here and swap this over. And we can see the Word file here opened up. Let's go ahead and open up the PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and pull that in here. We will change it over into presentation mode. We'll click on that link. And we can see here that the PowerPoint opened just by clicking on the link in its default application. Now the next feature here that's uh, notable for this particular release is going to be the ability to embed websites that were not able to be embedded before. Now we should be able to embed way more websites than before that, that we could not. So if we go ahead here and put in the some embed code let's try to embed let me see a google doc go ahead and get a link here we'll set this link to anyone with the public link let's swap back over and if we change that to presentation mode we can see that now you can go ahead and you can embed doc files into your Obsidian notes. And this should work with any other Google document for uh, format like the presentation or sheets and other, other um, file types from Google. Another one that I know did not work for me was ClickUp. So let me see if I can get ClickUp working here. And ClickUp works as well. So I'm able to click in here and 
see these different tasks go back so it's working as it should also so these are two really nice productivity enhancements to obsidian being able to see different uh, file types that you can put within your vault and link to those and also be able to embed different websites into your documents also now i do want to test this with the publish and see if these will actually show up when you publish them using the uh, publish feature and if that works they'll even add additional value to the publish feature being able to embed uh, more websites maybe into your documents um, the excel and tables there are some tables that you can do in here but it would be nice if you can put in maybe a google sheet doc that gives you more functionality than the markdown based tables that you get from markdown all right so those are the two features that i want to go over in this video if you found this helpful go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time, have a nice day.